The reason I want to talk about sports injuries is because as of recently, football has started back. We've seen a lot of major players go down with different types of injuries. Uh, several have went down from the ACL injury. Uh, others have went down from an Achilles injury or a meniscus injury. As you know, uh, Saquon Barkley, he went out with a uh, ACL injury. I'm fascinated by the sports injuries specifically. Mainly, I, you know, I don't want to see the players get hurt, of course. Those are some of the more severe sports injuries that you will see. Before we get started, go ahead and like my video and subscribe to my channel. Give a shout out to Danielle. She won the free face mask. She's a part of the Coalition of Black Physical Therapists Facebook group. Also coming soon, I'll be doing a drawing for a free shirt like this one to celebrate my 100 subscribers. As of today, we're at 94 subscribers. And also I launched my new website, www.thepta.life.com. On my website, we have various types of merchandise. We have shirts, leggings, blankets, travel mugs, beach towels, you name it, stickers, magnets, all that stuff, guys. So let's get into our topic, common knee sports injuries. So the first topic we will start off with is the ACL. The acronym ACL stands for anterior cruciate ligament. I'm sure many of you have heard of the ACL before, right? Come on. Let's be serious. So the ACL is the main ligament in the knee. It is located in the center part of the knee around other structures. This ligament extends from your tibia or shin bone through the center of your knee and attaches to your femur. The ACL holds your femur and tibia together. So this ligament here, it prevents the sliding of your knee forward and backwards. The ACL can permit up to 500 pounds of pressure before it ruptures. Women tend to tear their ACL more than men. The ACL can be injured in two different ways. One could be a contact injury and the other can be a non-contact injury. A contact injury meaning there's an external force driving the knee into one direction. A non-contact injury meaning you can plant your foot with so much force that your tibia and your femur would shift upon each other. Next, let's talk about the MCL. The acronym MCL stands for medial collateral ligament. This ligament is a thin flat band which attaches to your inside of your knee from your tibia all the way up to your femur. How someone can injure this ligament is an external force hitting the outside part of the knee, bending the inside and we call that motion valgus, or your knee going inward. Usually quad weakness and knee instability can increase your risk of developing an MCL sprain. The last injury I'll be talking about today is a meniscus tear. Most people complain of locking or catching in their knee. This could be possibly due to a meniscus tear. The meniscus is the cartilage on top of your tibia. It is shaped like a C and it absorbs the shock when you land on your feet. How someone can injure this part of their knee is quick turning, pivoting, or twisting of the knee while it's planted. You have several types of meniscus tears. You have an oblique, a horizontal, a transverse, and others. The medial meniscus is more prone to having injuries because it is firmly attached to your tibia bone. The location of the injury can determine your treatment. The inner part of the knee has poor blood supply so therefore you may need surgery if you tear your meniscus here. However, on the outer part of the knee, it has a better blood supply, so you may not need surgery if you have this type of injury. Most older individuals have degenerative tears in their knee, so this could cause more bone on bone issues. So when you put all three of these injuries together, you have the unhappy triad. If you have any questions or would like more information about today's subject, please feel free to reach out to me on my social media at the PTA Life on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Before we end here, you know what to do. Go ahead and like my video and subscribe to my channel. And remember, physical therapy is a way of life.